hello everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel in today's video we will learn to make a weird alien kind of structure in blender so without wasting enough time let's uh, jump into the video so first of all open blender on your computer and after that get rid of the light source and uh, this default cube at first now press shift plus a and uh, add a uv sphere into the viewport now press tab for edit mode go to mesh select split and select faces by edges as a result you can see that uh, all the faces of the uv sphere are now separated now as you can see that the faces are visible at the moment so we need to add some more geometry to the uv sphere now to give this head over to the modifier section and uh, add a subdivision surface modifier now as you can see since the edges are splitted at the moment so as you can see that we can see some gaps in between them now increase the viewport level to 4 and the render value also to 4 Now to make some changes to the geometry, we will add one more modifier that is the displace modifier. Press new to add a new texture and in the texture tab, select any texture which you want to use but uh, for the tutorials, but uh, for the tutorial purpose, I will go with the Musgrave texture. Now again, duplicate the Musgrave texture and click and select here to add a new, add a new texture. Duplicate it again and click here to add a new texture. Now as you can see, the strength value of uh, all the three textures are equal so to give some randomness we will adjust the strength values like 3 for the first one 2.5 for the second one and 1.5 for the third one now after you are done we will add one more modifier which will give this a weird that weird alien kind of look to the scene so head over to the modifier section again and uh, add a remesh modifier now as you can see this is looking a little weird at the moment so we need to make some adjustment to the settings now go to each each texture and uh, make a few changes to the values like uh, increasing the, <clears throat> the dimension Similarly, go to other textures and make such kind of changes. You can go with any other value of your choice. But for the sake of the tutorial, I am going with exact values. 
you can just mess up with these settings and uh, get the desired kind of look you can get your desired kind of look to the scene Now as you can see that it looks more better than it was before by changing a few important settings we have achieved a more better result than before now since you can see that some of the faces are visible at the moment so click on smooth to smooth out the edges now it's looking a bit more weird alien kind of a thing now the next step is not actually necessary but uh, if your computer is lagging or you don't have a very powerful computer you can use the next step so add a modifier to reduce the number of poly counts reduce the ratio one by one to reduce the number of poly counts regardless affecting the original geometry it's looking a little weird now so we will select the planar section and uh, adjust the angle in such a way that it will not affect the uh, overall look of the scene but will adjust a few more faces now after that again add one more modifier that is the smooth modifier so the smooth modifier will smooth out the edges and uh, uh, that's enough for it so we have achieved a weird alien kind of thing just by using a few more modifiers now after that select the camera and uh, adjust its values to provide a proper look to the scene the camera backwards in y axis and then adjust the focal length sphere one more time duplicate the sphere one more time and in the modifier section add a wireframe modifier try adding the wireframe modifier select the relative thickness adjust the scale value of the sphere if you want to want the wireframe to look more thick you can increase the thickness value from here so this value looks far better far better now now since the since the scene is set up uh, we will make a few changes like uh, changing the render engine to cycles and uh, selecting the device to gpu 
and uh, enter the viewport samples to 32 and uh, render samples to 200 and in the color management select very high contrast to get a more contrasty image during the final render now go to material preview and we need to add materials to both the spheres so for this head over to the shader editor select the first sphere select the first sphere press add a new material reduce the roughness and we need to give it a more organic or organic kind of look so for this the subsurface is quite necessary in such scenario so in the subsurface increase the weight a little bit or you can just increase the value to or you can just increase the value to 1 As to adjust the scale value as you can see that uh, adjusting the scale value is uh, making the subsurface uh, work and uh, after that in the radius properties you can adjust the values depending upon your choice now if you are done select the second sphere ready to add a new material we need it more like a reflective you can go with any type of material but i will set this to a glass material with some bit of roughness so we will set the roughness to 0.5 and increase the transmission weight to 1 to get that glass kind of look kind of reflective look now come to full screen layout to get a look of the scene and uh, uncheck scene world and scene lights in the world properties reduce the color to all the way dark and in the volume section add a volume scatter add a volume scatter node and reduce the density to 0.1 and now we need to add some lighting to the scene so add an area light to the scene select and move it upwards now go to object data properties and increase the strength value of the light to 1000 watts change the shape of the light to disc and increase the size to cover the area Now head over to the rendered mode to get a preview of the scene. Again come to, come to solid mode and uh, select the area light and uh, increase the power a bit more and change the color to some shade of blue after that go to world properties and reduce the density of the volume to 0 0.02 now again head over to the rendered mode
now to if you want the light to be spread more increase the size and reduce the spread to get this kind of weird organic look you can also head over to the color management and adjust the exposure or the gamma values after you are done click on the render image button to render out the image After the image is rendered, click on image and save it to a desired location on your computer. And that's enough for today's video. Hope you all guys learned something. And thanks to everyone who watched the video till the end. Hope to see you all in the next video. Till then stay tuned and keep learning.